Hello, my name's Mike. Today I would like to show you some of the products I use when I build kits from the Wordsworth Model Railway kit range. As can be seen, I do favour the Pritt Stick brand. When it comes to assembling the buildings, I find this glue is ideal for applying to the glue flaps and is applied using this lovely spatula. These are very cheap to purchase. These cost just 50 pence for four. Also in the range you'll notice a nail file. This is very useful for taking off uh, rough edges on card. It can also be used for fine tuning the piece just before it's glued into position. A good set of tweezers very handy in the kit, very useful for folding small pieces. When it comes to mounting the paper onto the stock card, if it's a full A4 sheet I prefer these large jumbo sticks. For slightly small pieces go down to the next and for small pieces use the little stick. If I'm gluing small section of card I like to use this, this is a power stick and is very good for gluing card to card and bonds within a couple of seconds. This is a fine tip glue applicator. Basically it contains glue from the larger tube and this allows me to place a nice bead of glue onto the really small items. When I build any of the kits, one or more of these products help to build the kit successfully. Now that you've seen some of the products I use whilst building the kits, today I want to talk about some of the little detail items that will soon end up on our website. OK, let's talk about future releases. What will you find on the website soon? A few products that I'm working on at present are some street signs. As can be seen I've already started using some of these on my own layout. Hopefully these will be a great addition to the range. Items on this side of the sheet are custom made so these will be only available if you actually contact us direct and supplies with names that you would like on. This particular version shows names that I use on my own particular layout. Uh, North Fangor, Wordsworth, South Fangor. Now these items are very easy to make. You just download the PDF file, print them off and cut out the full piece. And then these individually get cut out. The idea then is you flip each piece over so the printed side is face down, apply some glue to the back and fold each one in half. Here's one that I'm using now. There's the printed side with the signed front and on the back you've got the nice grey back that's on the back of each one of these signs. Okay so you now have your sign, you've got the items cut out, what do they look like? Here's a little sharp bend sign and this one shows a warning 10 miles per hour sign. Now I'm afraid I can't supply you with signposts but I find very useful 
cocktail sticks. Very cheap, very effective, and you can paint them to any colour that you feel is suitable for your layout. Okay, what else you get on these sheets? Let's have a quick look. We'll go through some of the items that will be available. On this sheet you can see we've got drain covers, manhole covers, traffic island bollards. And on this sheet just more general road signs. Trying to provide as many as possible just so you can enhance your own layout. Okay here we are on the layout as can be seen we've got the speed signs, we've got the town nameplate which has been incorporated into a flower scene. To the left actually there's a telephone box which uh, we'll talk about a little bit later and to the far right you'll see another street sign. I hope you agree they do look pretty effective. Right before we leave the street signs what I want to do is show you how easy it is. A little fiddly but easy to construct one of these street bollards. Now I've actually cut these out already. No need to show you how to cut these out. Just take your time and follow the lines. Okay, you've got your piece cut out. What I'll try and do is show you in real time. Hopefully I'll get most of this within the picture. But first thing you need to do is score each one of these fold lines. It's only paper, so you've got to be very careful when you're making your score lines. Okay, here we go. I always use a steel rule and I use the craft knife but we're not going to use the cutting edge we're going to turn it over and use the other edge place the rule onto the line get your knife and gently pull it down and it's very gentle you don't want to cut through the card all you're doing is creating a weak point to aid a piece of paper to fold. And you do that for each of these lines. And this one. Then just spin it round to get the last one. Right, there we are. We are ready to do a fold and a dry assembly. Now, this is where the tweezers come in. My fingers are a little bit big for this game, so what we'll do is we'll pick up the piece, as can be seen, a little bit fiddly, but what you want is just fold these sections over, down the score lines that you've made, fold it back out, move on to the next line, fold it over, Bring it back, fold the next one over, bring it back, and the next one, bring it back. Now these little sections at the top, roll it over. 
back. Now the little glue flaps. Keep drifting out of shot, I do apologise for that. Fold it over. And then the last one. Fold over. There we go. And bring it back. You've now got, lift that up, your basic shape for the traffic bollard. Now this item's held together with PVA, but I apply using this fine tip applicator and what we do you can see why you need the fine tip just gently put some PVA onto there always put the tip back into your nozzle you don't want that blocking up Now then, the tweezers. We'll try and keep this in shot, but what you're trying to do is get that flap under the back section and line it up. And then what you do, using your tweezers, once you get her there, there you go. Just press and hold. Turn around, get the other section, there we go, here's a little fiddly, and people with big fingers like myself, you certainly need these tweezers, but there you go, stand her up, just make sure she's square, Right, that's the first part done. Okay, let's get this top section glued down. Once again, you're going to need the glue. Just fold these flaps in slightly so that they're ready to go inside the body of the bollard right okay just a little dab there a little dab there and a little dab on that one you don't need much it's only paper. Right, the last final fiddly bit is you just push that section into there. Stand it up right. Right. Get your tweezers on the inside. So you get the glue flap, turn it round because there's three glue flaps on the inside, there we go, turn around, Traffic bollard. Okay, the last thing we have to do 
is here's the bollard base apply some PVA to the bottom and just square it up on the base spin around yep to look square little bit of pressure and there you go one completed bollard ready for the layout okay I seem to have waffled on a little bit too much and uh, I've run out of time on this uh, session what we'll do is we'll do this now over a couple of videos so uh, part two will follow very shortly.